Hello everyone and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we are going to be beginning our playthrough as the Penistar alignment in Imperial Civil War 2.2, the preview, or a preview edition uh, from an internal test build that we have, or an internal de development build, I guess, rather. Uh, so this will actually be the last playthrough that we do before you guys should have the demo in your hands. Uh, it should be around the time that this playthrough ends. It shouldn't be a long one. Uh, we're going to be playing on uh, the Stars Align of the Penistar alignment. There have been... Uh, there was a poll in pretty much every playthrough we've done so far to ask what you guys wanted to see next. The Radu Authority technically won, however, uh, they're not quite ready, and I'd like to save them uh, just a little bit later so that we have more of the stuff done, just because it's going to be a really long playthrough that I do for them. It's going to be one of the largest GCs we have. Uh, it's like 80 or 90 planets. So that'll take a while, and then the more we have done before that starts, the longer uh, we'll have to clean that up and show off as much as possible in that playthrough. So for now, we're just going to do a quick look at the Penistar alignment that was happening with them. Not everything that I wanted to have done for them is quite done uh, for what we're going to be doing here. There have been some things that have come up in my personal life which uh, are sort of going to interrupt what we're doing with the mod a little bit, but uh, it's unavoidable. I have to prioritize, prioritize things a certain way, and I'll hopefully explain at some point but for now uh yeah so this is what we're going to be doing and i'm going to put instead of doing the next poll as a straw poll i'm going to put it up on patreon for the patrons to decide uh what we're going to play next i don't want to put patreon patreon rewards behind a paywall uh or like, as the content behind a paywall so i figured this is a good way to let the the people who support the channel and myself uh I guess financially, uh, they get to choose, they get to have a bit more of a say in what we record, but then everyone still gets access to it. I think that's a fair way to handle it. Uh, but of course, I'm always still going to be looking for ways to improve the experience, uh, the quality of videos, all that stuff for everyone. Uh, so if it's something that you disagree with, let me know in the comments and uh, I can definitely revisit that in the future and try to figure out a better way to handle it. But for now, I think that's what we're going to go for for the playthrough after the Arado Authority. Uh, Especially because it's the last preview of the new factions that's already done. Or the, it'll be the last preview of a new faction. But yeah, so we'll get into it. So we are going to be playing as the Penis Alignment on the Stars Align. And we're going to play on hard. So uh, we are some of the things that we are still working on that you won't see in this quite yet is we're trying to get rid of the... I'm going to read the version that comes up in the Mission Hulk run. But uh, we are working on a replacement for the IPV because it's already in Maldrude and it's already in a few other places. Uh, so the IPV won't be there. The And we are working on a new version of the Penistar Enforcers. So the soldiers they have, they have a regular Stormtrooper company but they're also going to have the pedestal forwards. But as you can already see, uh, we are working on a new UI as well. This is the Imperial version. It's sort of modeled after a Star Destroyer command bridge visually, and then we're going to try to do like the sort of white Mon Calamari thing for the New Republic. Uh, of course, that is all still in progress, so all these black buttons. Right now we're playing with the uh, blue style. You can see here with this button. Uh, but you can also see we have... A uh, new hero here already, Saris, and then there's going to be other new heroes. Uh, this is one of Jarek's Seven Dark Jedi. We're also going to have Yun and some other ones. And you'll also notice that Kane is gone. So I'm just going to open our Holocron and take a look. So, Grand Moff Artist Kane. Good day, Commander. I regret not having been able to greet you in person. However, I am currently in the midst of negotiations aboard my flagship, the Reaper, to bring the local sectors and companies into line. Talks are progressing well, however, we'll be unable to assist you until we are finished. I trust you will be able to contain our enemies until my return. Uh, Grand Moff Kane and the Reaper will join your forces on week 20. I might still have it set up for testing where instead of 800 seconds, it's 80 seconds. Uh, in that case, we'll get him much sooner. But one of the other things to look at here is we have Jarek. He is a, just a ground unit now. Uh, we're going to be getting rid of Dark Jedi as a buildable unit for the Penistar alignment because we are representing a lot more of the Seven Dark Jedi, and that's what they're... Uh, what they're essentially here for. And instead of that, you now can recruit Captain Sisko in the Vengeance as a separate hero. Uh, so that allows us to distribute a lot more of course. 
a lot more power for the Penistar alignment early, uh, instead of having it all built up into the two SSDs that they essentially get for free. Uh, but there are a ton of other heroes that they're getting, not all of them are done. What you will see for sure in this playthrough is the new... Uh, a lot of the new ground balancing is still in progress, but it is uh, very different from what we had before. The new Venator, uh, the new Precursor model, and the new Bellator model. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get to a Bellator this episode, but we are going to try to get to do Brilliant, I think. is. Or actually, let's go for Dantooine. But essentially, this uh, this GC now, because it used to be very similar... Oh, yep, so it is. It is 80 seconds, but... I have returned. I managed to secure the cooperation of many companies and local sectors. This will be enough to secure our victory. I need to fix that, obviously. New order has never fallen, only the Emperor. The Emperor may be dead, but the Empire lives on. So we get Kane, we get Gregor Akorn, we get Ibdikit, and we get Wernatro. There's also another, uh, there's another couple heroes that you're going to get at that point as well. And normally, of course, it would be week 20 instead of week 3. But, I think I'll probably leave Kane out of it for now. Let's we'll take a look at some of our heroes for this. Ceres' model isn't done yet either, but... Vehicle in production. So, uh, like, she has a model, but it's not... There's some reanimation we want to do to her. I want to get the new precursor before we actually go anywhere. All right. So I think that's going to be good. I see. Tactical battle imminent. Gonna make sure. Okay. The Empire just took this planet, so it shouldn't be uh, too hard to take even the ground. And we'll get a look at some of our new heroes here. Enemy forces ahead. Well, they already got some golems set up. But... We get a Precursor. Oop, the engine glow particles are still attached, apparently. I'll need to fix that. Heading to destination. So Ibdikit gets a Parader. The new Precursor model looks much better than the old one. Oh, that's not the way I wanted that to work. So this will give us another shipyard planet. I'm probably going to refrain from using Kane and probably Ibdikid for a while, because we're not supposed to technically have him yet. That'll make the GC a bit too easy. But let's take a look at the new Acclimator as well. Uh, we also lightened the Penistar Alignment's color. So in the previous versions, it was a lot of a... more of a darker blue. Uh, but now we've got it as sort of lighter. Uh, kind of a pastel sort of color range for them. Enemy fleet approaching. Tactical battle imminent. Uh, what do we... The Vindicator's not going to be enough, but... We'll see what we have. I think it's a level 2 shipyard, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's level 1. We're going to have to leave. There might actually be a few more of the... Uh, Your orders. We're on the move. A few more of the giant space lizard things. The background issues. I checked through a lot of the maps 
that are present on this GC, but I haven't checked all of them yet. Honestly, I'm playing this uh, when I am partially as a distraction, so my apologies for not having it quite where I wanted it when this starts, but uh, the, it's still at a point in the GC. Like, I can easily do uh between episodes two and three probably i should have some time and the chance to just sit down and work a bit on it but for now i really just wanted to play for the empire commencing attack run awaiting your command I should have just retreated and saved the Vindicator, but whatever. If you insist, beginning construction. I call babe. Enemy fleet approaching. Tactical battle imminent. <laughs> I'll take it. Not sure why they left. But you should also notice uh, there shouldn't be any of the attack loops that happen. Uh, so unless they just happen to attack intentionally in the same place more than once, you won't have the same thing where it's uh, a ton of ships coming in, or like a couple ships filtering in and then leaving and then filtering in and leaving. Are they gonna let us kill a hero like this? Really? Bomber squadron reporting. Setting up my run, sir. They don't want to leave. Orders, sir. Skipper reporting. But we should have a lot more fighters than we did as Maldrude. Ready for command, sir. Changing course to intercept. Course set. Up oh, there they go. Well, at least we got some of them. That'll have to do. Receiving orders. Controller, let's get some infantry. Tactical battle imminent. We got an ISD hero there, or two ISD heroes. So we'll just have to retreat there. Uh-oh. Okay, no, never mind. Not uh-oh. We're good. We're fine. I really just want to get Boros connected. Let's get a hypervelocity again. Hopefully that's hooked up properly. Construction complete. Uh Bastion. No, we don't need Reporting. Building started. Constructing. Jameis, no. Building we'll do. Building under construction. And Jameis will get uh reporting. Construct like vehicle factory. Dabrador, no. Stern Piddle. Enlisting soldiers. Like that. So a lot of the numbers are still a little off on the ground stuff, but in general. Construction. Uh it's balanced. Like the way a lot of the weapons work is a little, a lot different than it was previously. Reporting. Um. Hmm. Construction complete.
We'll have to be careful because a lot of our a lot of our units are going to cost us money to upkeep. That's still something that we're testing out. Uh, but as you can see, we're it looks like we're losing money from uh, from some planet or from yeah from Gabrador here. We're not technically making any money. Uh, but that's because we have, if you look here, Gabrador, and we sell an Eclameter. Oh, never mind. It's the, only the larger ships that it works with. Hold on. That should do it. We're moving out. There we go. Reporting. You can see the the ships are costing money to upkeep the larger ones. Construction complete. Construction complete. It's more something that we're doing to work towards some changes in the late game. Uh, but... Because there's some stuff that we want people to have to work towards in the late game. If it becomes too much of an issue early game, we're going to try other ways to scale it. And uh, just to make sure that the AI isn't hurt by it. That should actually be enough ground forces to go in right away. So we're going to go back to invading Yega Miner, and then we're going to go straight for it. This should be... Should be good. And we'll start trying to build up our economy to work towards a Bellator. Then maybe by next episode we can get the new Bellator in. Alright. Retreat is going to be disabled. We need to prepare for a raid fleet to come in. Uh, in the future we're going to try to have the raid fleets based on how many ships are in the battle. So it'll check against the population cap and determine the ships against that, but right now it works essentially the way it did Confirm. in uh, previous versions. We shall be there shortly. I knew you would say that. Ready for battle. Roger that. Let's we'll send in our TIE fighters. Okay, so it's an Empire of the Hand fleet. Let's deal with them first. Warm up. Engines activated. Acquiring target. Advancing on target. Yes, Commander Captain. Cruise missile awaiting orders. Moving to coordinates. Was engine closer still attached to the precursor? Here we go. Enemy ships. Thrawn reporting. Of course. I go after them now. Awaiting your command. Engaging the enemy. Well, I'm part of the hand you tried. Targeting at maximum reinforcements. You tried and you failed. Commander, they're hitting us. Admiral Thrawn reporting. I got one. Your command, sir. We've got them on scope. Ready to receive orders. Comlink active. Awaiting orders. Skip rate blast boat here. Okay. Roger that. Form up. Awaiting orders. Bombs away. Commander. Our target All right. priority is the laser tanks. Reporting in. Move to attack. Armed in We have something to report. The we have something to report. Obviously we are still uh Working on writing a lot of the voiceovers, and then we'll get them all recorded at once. Or at least have them all ready when people, when we ask for volunteers. Alright. 
He sounds serious. I think he might have calculated the possibilities. Okay, for the second time. Well, now we have ground units in orbit, or not in orbit, but on their way. So there we go. Defeated the Empire of the Hand Task Force. Took the space over Yaga Minor. Killed two heroes so far. But... Uh, let's start with this. So infantry are organized pretty differently now. Uh, did I forget to change cannons? on the buildings to not be targetable? I don't remember. I'll have to check if it's... I'll Enemy figure out the battle, but... Reporting. But, uh, rockets, for example, Plex Troopers, they do a lot more damage, but they have a much higher cooldown. When they actually hit their target. Advancing. Target confirmed. Moving out. Squad, move out. But now, for the most part, your infantry come in, uh, they're individually commanded. So they come in companies. So you basically get every kind of infantry you need at once. So instead of having to devote like four or five different stacks to infantry, you only need to get the one company and you'll get a significant amount. You'll get your specialists. You'll get uh, you'll get some scouts if they don't die. And you will get uh, you'll get four commanders. Right now the stormtrooper captains don't have or sergeants don't have a different model yet, but they will. And you also get a captain who gives a combat bonus when they're still alive. Reporting in. Heading out. On my way. Uh, the numbers of units and companies has been mostly reduced, but a lot of the effectiveness of individual units has increased as well. So lats aren't permanent beams anymore. Instead, there are occasional bursts. On the whole, land combat tends to feel a bit cleaner now. Ready for orders. Receiving orders. As you wish. Form up. Actually, no. Screw you, Jarek. It's Saris. Right now, she's basically just using Mara's model. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of edits to it to make Saris actually be Saris. Copy. I'll copy. At the ready. Heading for attack position. Squadron moving out. Attack. Lands are proceeding. Let's see if there's a shield generator right we need to take out. Apparently not. I am waiting. Reporting. Uh, for the most part, we're giving units the berserk ability, but I don't. I don't think Sars has that yet. Scout trooper active. Yes, sir. Moving us. We will have to go take out. Right away. On my way. Order acknowledged. On the way. Heading out. There has to be a power jam.
Well, just walked over all our units. Alright, so we're gonna have to do this commando style. Jarek as a scout. Construction complete. Bombing run available. Do you have a plan? And Cyrus. To heal her. Affirmative, sir. Gearing up. Almost there. Providing backup. So the infantry makeup, the company makeup, will depend on. Uh, it'll depend on which faction you're playing. So for the remnants. Like the regular remnant, you're gonna get some e-webs in it. Uh, for most factions, you're gonna get at least one specialist. The Empire has fewer. Uh, for the New Republic, uh, you'll get some grenadiers. But you should have to devote fewer slots to infantry before you feel like you're getting a enough of a roll out of them. Let's get sensor node, node there. Yes, as you wish. Construction complete. Acknowledged. Construction complete. Right away. Moving. I will. There we go. Okay, good. So the bombing run should work properly. Unless I just don't aim it properly. We'll assist you. What is your order? So. Where's the next target? If I must. I go. All right. Copy. Let's Got uh, get out there. Construction complete. Oh. Still spawning the wrong thing, what I think. Like this, yeah, that's gonna work out worse for her. Of course, I will be there soon. I'm gonna send Jarek to do that. Actually, nah. Save that for a real base. Bombardment canceled. Roger that. Let's 
It's got to be careful for turrets. The weird running anim running animation. Following your lead. Right behind you. As soon as we have the bombing run. There we go. I am waiting, so be it. Prepare to assist. What do you wish? All right, Mando, take cover. All right. Hey, Jarek, just just ditch him. Oh god. Time. As you wish. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. The turrets are shooting now. Right away. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's not quite as good. They did. The Yo, troopers actually killed everything. I guess we'll bring down more infantry. Watching for the enemy. Scouting instruction complete. On the way. Out there just stuck. Awaiting your command. Okay, Jerick. All you. Bombardment cancelled. They can kill each other. And Ceres. Do you have a plan? I go. We are victorious. All right, Moonlance is ours. Okay, so that is actually going to do it for our first episode here. In the next episode, we will try to consolidate a bit more of our territory here. We'll try to take Dantooine and Debrillion, uh, and we'll try to make our way towards the Bellator. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do there. Uh, I read all the comments, so if there's any questions that you have about the mod or, or anything else, just leave them in the comments, and I will definitely get back to you. Or I'll at least read it. I will do my best to get back to you. Like I said, there's some stuff going on right now that is... Uh, severely limiting my ability to, uh, I guess, focus. But yeah, so see you next time. That'll be, oh, today is, uh, this will be going up on the Saturday. So uh, the next, we're going to keep the same schedule. It'll be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for this playthrough as well. And hopefully the final episode and the demo should be going up around the same time. I'd ideally like to stream a bit of this playthrough as well, like we did with the previous ones. Uh, but uh, I am going to be staying with my parents for a while. Uh... I'm going to be probably going back and forth between home and my parents for the next couple months. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what the stream schedule is going to be like. 
but I will try to get in as many as I can. So again, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, everyone.